all right and we on good morning guys and welcome back again to um, unit 10d and I hope you guys are safe and I hope you guys have a very good uh, time at home we will be looking today at unit 10d and the title for today's topic will be the Glastonbury festival as you can see if you can open up your books and follow with me all right looking at number one in the picture we can see um, lots of fun activities and games and it seems like this is a train transporting all of the guests at the festival at the moment um, we see a lot of colorful designs and I'm sure you guys are familiar with festivals because even in Vietnam we have lots of different festivals that we have each and every year for example your mid-autumn festival that you have um, is one of the festivals and during Tet I believe we can also account for that as some sort of festival all right so going on um, looking at the book we're looking at the Glastonbury festival and it's a special event that we um, that takes place in June so if we read on culture corner and unit 10d Look at the title and the picture, when does the festival take place, and what can someone see or do there, read to find out. Obviously we know that in festivals we have lots of fun activities to do, and there's games for everyone, and everyone, the whole family can enjoy. Um, let me just make a point to remind you guys that we are going to read the article, but it's not in the correct order. So what you see here is A, B, and if I move down, C and D. But this is not in the correct order in what it's supposed to be. All right, so it's our job to rearrange it in the correct order so that we can make sense of what's actually going on. All right, and if we start off, we can see it takes place in June. Uh, you can enjoy live performances. Live performances being bands that you can hear and um, not play from a CD from some of the top bands in the world as well as dance, comedy, circus and theatre performance. And these theatre performances will be live where we have people sing and dance and it seems like a very fun activity for the whole family to do. So as I said the wording is not in the, chrono in the correct order and it's our job to place it in the correct order. So if we go on, alright. Um, I will not do this part now because I want us to do the reading first and then from the reading we can rearrange this in the correct order. So what I'll do is I'll step forward and we'll um, listen to the audio clip first and then we co can go back and rearrange the whole passage. If you only ever go to one festival in your life, make sure it is the Glastonbury Festival. It's an awesome experience. Every year the Glastonbury Festival takes place over three days in Somerset, England. It is the largest Greenfield Music and Performing Arts Festival in the world. Those who are lucky enough to get tickets can enjoy live performances by some of the top bands in the world. There is always a great variety of music, including pop, rock, rap, and jazz. There are also dance, comedy, circus, and theater performances to enjoy. Almost everyone stays for the whole weekend. Festival goers usually camp in tents in fields next to the site, but there is also a place for trailers. There are many stalls selling different types of food, so there is something for everyone. Tickets usually cost around $300 for the weekend. Admission is free for children and there is a special kids playground where they can do fun activities. Most of the money raised goes to charities such as Oxfam, Greenpeace and WaterAid. So you have fun and at the same time you help a worthy cause. Book your tickets now.
Okay, now we can go back and now we can rearrange the whole passage as I have said. What I want to do now is first look at the instructions for number two, put the paragraphs in the correct order and check which phrases help you. Okay, so I played the audio clip first so that we can see how we can rearrange the words and what I'm going to do is I'm going to reveal the answers because paragraph D is the starting point and the introduction of the whole paragraph. So what are we actually talking about? We're talking about the Glastonbury Festival, all right? And then we move on to paragraph two. When does it take place? It takes place over the weekend or over three days in Somerset, England. Now what you can expect is performance arts and live performance of bands and theater performances. Uh, there's a variety of music, including pop, rock, rap and jazz. There's also dance and circus that the whole family can enjoy. And this is a fun activity for the whole weekend. All right, festival goers can camp in tents in fields next to the site. So this is quite conveniently made for you guys to go to this festival and go back home. Um, not back home and go back to your tents and enjoy the view over the weekend. It's a little bit pricey um, for the whole weekend and if we translate this to Vietnamese Dong, you're looking at paying about 7 to 8 million Vietnamese Dong for the whole weekend, which I think is quite reasonable, but then again for some it might be a little bit too steep. Alright, admission is free for children and their special kids playground where they can do fun activities. So this whole point of the festival is rearranged for the whole family so no one is left out but everyone else can be included in the activities that takes place all right most important is that the money raised goes to charities such as the oxfam the greenpeace and the water aid so you can have fun and at the same time it serves as a worthy cause and you can book your tickets online as well so this is quite an interesting event that not only serves to give you fun but it has a purpose as well so it serves for uh, charity as well and lots of fun things to do all right moving on check the phrases in the word list use them to make sentences about the festival now obviously i am not there and we cannot have this um, as a group activity so what i would encourage you to do you guys have skype you guys have whatsapp you can um, make a video call with all your friends and those who are fluent in the english language and even for those that are not i would encourage you to practice with your friends so what we're going to do is these are some of the words that we need to make sentences all right so if we take the first word for example takes place we have a, a brief explanation of what it means right so the festival takes place in june and you can obviously be a little bit more creative and use your own sentences um, use the words to form your own sentences for example enjoy live performances you can say that we can enjoy live performances while visiting the festival right and so the list goes on because it's quite an extensive list it's quite a long list for us um, I'll go through each and every one. We look at the top bands and we can say that the festival hosts some of the top bands that we get in the world. Um, there are a variety of music to enjoy. If you look at theatre performances, we can say that the festival also hosts theatre performances and this is quite good and the little ones can also enjoy playing in a playground. Right, if you look at the word trailers, now these trailers are your caravans or your park trailers where each trailer or stand, if I can call it that way, um, serves a purpose where it either serves food or there's fun and games activities. If you look at the, um, at the sentence that they give, usually festival goers camp in tents or stay in trailers on the site. Right now, these trailers can be the ones that they sell stuff, or it can be like a mobile home. And a mobile ho home is nothing but a place that you can sleep overnight. And the last one I'm going to look at is charities. 
all right and money raised if I look if you look at the words money raised and we have to make a sentence we can say that the money raised at the festival goes for a worthy cause all right something that serves for the benefit of others that's what worthy cause means all right so if we have the festival it not only gives you fun and games and entertainment but also the money that's raised goes towards people that are needy to people that are poor and to people that need the money at the end of the day all right so that's what we have to do in culture corner and activity 10b right moving on now the passage talks about um, an example we can see here yeah, the whole family have fun activities and games um, let's read what point number four says you are in england your english friends suggest going to the glassingbury festival ask about where it takes place now this is a fun activity that you can do with your fellow classmates if you would like to video call i would strongly suggest that um, some of the things that we can say about the festival is that it takes place in june all right what can you see there there's a variety of things to see and explore all right so how long it lasts it usually lasts uh, over three weeks where can you stay you can stay in the tents um, or in the trailers that's provided or you can have your own tents now this is just some of the examples that i'm giving you because i want you to be a little bit more creative and you can take this a little step further and you can call your friends or speak to your mom those who are fluent in english all right let's look at a short video and then we will have some questions and answers based on the video so let's move on to the next phase festivals have you ever been to a music festival one of the biggest in the world is Glastonbury festival in Somerset England as you guys can see and notice that this is quite a huge festival with tens and thousands of fans so this is something very um, enormous if I can put it to you that way it takes place over three days in June it is the largest Greenfield Music and Performing Arts Festival in the world. Those who are lucky enough to get tickets can enjoy live performances by some of the top bands in the world. There is always a great variety of music, including pop, rock, rap and jazz. There are also dance, comedy, circus and theatre performances to enjoy. Almost everyone stays for the weekend. Festival goers usually camp in tents in fields next to the site. Glastonbury is also famous for how muddy it can get. People need to be prepared for the rain. There are many stalls selling different types of food. There is something for everyone. Glastonbury works with a lot of charities. They hold events at the festival to raise awareness and money. Many people say if you only go to one festival in your life, then go to Glastonbury Festival. Good luck getting tickets, as every year they sell out. Is there a festival like this in your country? Alright, and that's the end of our video clip. Quite an interesting video, I must add, looking at the number of people that attend this festival. Um, and let's look at some Q&A that follows and then we can answer some of the questions. Alright, complete the paragraph with the missing words. Now we have five missing words. We have circus, we have fields, Greenpeace, June and events. Right, an event is something that is held um, either or sponsored that you can go to um, there's lots of events that takes place in our city as well um, if we look at the paragraph Glastonbury music festival is one of the biggest music festivals in the world All right so it is held in Somerset and takes place over three days in right so in what month it does it take place and there's only one field that we can answer this and that's in June 
right? I would encourage you to do this beforehand, before I do it, just to re see if you can retain and um, remember some of the things that were read in the passage, right? So those who are lucky enough to get tickets can enjoy live performances by some of the top bands in the world. So there is a great variety of music as well as dance, comedy and circus, right? You guys are familiar with the circus because we also have such an event here in Ho Chi Minh City. All right, and theater performances to enjoy. So festival goers usually camp in tents in, now we have three options, but they usually camp in fields. Fields is an open space that we have, and it serves as a huge um, purpose and play field for people to go to. Right next to the site, but you have to be careful because it can get really muddy. People also need to be prepared for the rain. Okay, if you get hungry, visit the stalls to choose from many different types of food. Glastonbury also works with charities like Oxfam, and if you guys can remember, one of the charities that was also mentioned was the Greenpeace and the Water Aid as well. So they hold many events with these charities to raise awareness and money so this is not just a festival it serves as two purposes as well so you can have fun and entertainment but it also raises awareness and money for those who are in need all right let's look at the word power today's word that we are looking at is raise and we're looking at the different ways that we can use this word in sentences all right, I will read the example first. Which phrase can you find in the text? Make sentences using the phrases. Now we can see raise, we can use in different contexts and in different ways. If we look right here on top in the right hand side, they raise their children to have good manners. Right, that is one of the words and the ways that we can use it. Now, raise is a verb, so it means an action. So, raise can also mean to bring up. Right, like our mothers and fathers that brings us up we can say that they have raised up from childhood right the next word is move higher and what that means is from a lower position to a higher position that means to raise up okay the third context that we can use is to collect money um, the Glastonbury festival is a festival that has entertainment but the other purpose of the festival is also to raise money and that is to collect money for the purposes of charity and they give it to different charities that serve different functions and the last context that we can look at is increase where you go to a shop and buy something and the next day when you go you see that the price of the specific item has been increased or raised so this is the verb that we're using for today and it is raise and we can see that we can use one word in four different contexts right in four different ways to have different meanings as well okay if you guys can think of any other way that we can use the word raise feel free to share it with your friends and we can move on right so we will not do this part um, is there a similar festival in your country? Complete the table in pairs, present the festival to your friends if you can. You can fill in this festival. Um, I would like you to think a little bit more out of the box and not what's currently happening in the country. But when there's no COVID and nothing happening, what types of festivals can you experience in the world? Right, I'll give you an example and listen to an audio clip and then we can go to our workbook. The Benny Kassam International Festival is a very popular music festival. It takes place every July in Benny Kassim in southern Spain, and it lasts for three days. There are all sorts of exciting events and activities there. There are lots of live music performances, mostly by pop, rock, and electronic music bands. You can also see theater performances, fashion shows, movies, and many other things. All right, now some of us can be a little bit more creative and fill this in in your books and then we can move on to our workbook when you guys are ready. All right, moving on. 
Okay, moving on to our workbook, Unit 10D, we look at the title, Who Mad in Spain? Now, this is a Who Mad. I want to bring your attention to this kind of a, an event that's taking place. So let's le read a little bit more. Same scenario we have here where the whole passage is not organized in the correct order and we will need to organize the passage in the correct order. Right, so let's first see that what's happening in the passage. We have a woman and we have a large crowd and we can see that there's a fun activity. Let's first read the passage and then we can see how we can make sense and reorganize the passage for us. Okay, we have these workshops will take place around the world, around the center of Cacaris in the Plaza Major, Plaza Saint Jorge and the Grand Teatro. This year there are two new extra workshop areas which are located in the old town. Children's workshops will take place in the museum close to the Plaza Saint Jorge. Alright, now what I want to bring your attention to is this is not the introduction of the paragraph. I'm reading this only so that we can familiarize ourselves with the context of what's happening. Alright, so let me first start off by reorganizing the whole passage. If you guys want to, you can pause the video and do so first, and then we can go on later. But I will continue, you guys can just pause, and then organize it, and then we can go on from there. All right? so we see that number one, uh, D, Homad will be returning to Cacaris in Extremadura, Spain for the 17th year this May. Right. It will take place from Wednesday the 9th to Saturday the 12th of May and will feature a great lineup of international artists, lots of stands and workshops for adults and children. Right. International artists, you guys are familiar with artists from all, all over the world. If we think of Korea, we have your BTS. If we think of America, we have your Katy Perry. Okay, when they talk about stands, we talk about things, um, a little stand like we have the, or a vendor that sells stuff to the public. Alright, so D will be paragraph number one and then number two will be A. These workshops will take place and then three will be C. After the morning workshops, the music begins with a performance on Wednesday evening. The performances will take place throughout the day and evening on Thursday and Friday. The final concert is on Saturday evening. Alright, so the order will be D, A, C and B. Alright, and here's the information and everything that you can find for the festival or the workshop that will take place around this event. Alright, so if we go on to reading read the article above about the music festival in Spain and put the paragraphs in the correct order and as we have established the correct order is D, A, C and B. Okay moving on mark the statements with true or false if we look we have five sentences and let's see if it corresponds to the passage the festival comes to Spain in every 17 years. Now, is that true or false? And we can see that that is actually false. All right, the festival takes place over four days. And we can say, yes, it takes place from the 9th to the 12th. And that's four days. All right, the workshop will be in two new towns. All right, and that's false. It finishes on Saturday evening. Right, which is actually true from the Wednesday to the Saturday. Right, and you need to contact the Kakaris Tourist Information Office to book tickets. Now, is that true or false? And that is false because all home who met Kakaris performances and workshops are free, so no tickets are required. Right. Let's move on to our vocabulary. We will complete the text using one of the words in the box. So we have eight words. We have place, arts, admission, performances, tents, tickets, stands and charities. Right. And if you look at all of these uh, words, 
uh, our topic and our reading passage is Earth Friends. Let's read the reading passage and fill in all of the missing words. Alright, so Earth Friends is organizing a performing mm, festival this month to fight world poverty. Right, so what kind of festival are we talking about? And if we look at the words, we see it's an arts festival. Once again, I would encourage you to pause the video to do this beforehand and then we can do it together and you can check your answers. All, right, all of the money raised goes to the same as with the Glastonbury Festival where the money goes to charities okay, to help the poor. Now, this festival takes place on the last Sunday on the month at Carrington Park. Okay, so the missing word here is place. There will be live performances by famous artists as well as many stands selling food. All right, a stand is simply a space occupied that you can sell food. The same as what we have in the streets here in Vietnamese where they sell foods, different stands that we have. All right, you can spend the weekend and camp in what? All right, same as Glastonbury where we camp in tents next to the beautiful river. Okay, you can get what? Okay, tickets online and more information by visiting our website. So a website is provided for this event taking place and not the Glastonbury Festival. Alright, for kids, what's the missing word? And we see that there's only one of these words that we have not used and that is admission. So admission is free, so don't miss a great weekend of fun for the whole family right and that concludes it for our vocabulary if we move on to grammar match the phrases to form complete sentences all right we have she likes i can help pete doesn't want they enjoy we've decided and i'm looking forward these are the five sentences that we need to complete with the other five sentences marked A to F. So number one, she likes, we can say eating out with friends. So one will be A. All right, moving on to number two, I can't help. Looking at the extensive list, what can we fill in? Falling asleep, I'm tired, All right? Number three, Pete doesn't want, and the word that we can fill in over there, All right, to become a doctor. Right, they enjoy for we can look e taking a walk in the afternoon. Right, we've decided for number five C to spend our summer vacation abroad. So that's a joint decision that's been made. They have decided to spend the summer vacation abroad. And the last one I'm looking forward, looking at the list we can see to seeing them next weekend. All right, so that's the order of the whole passage. So number one is A, 2D, 3F, 4E, 5C, and 6B. Right, and that's the order. Okay, now complete the sentences about yourself. This does not have a, um, an answer which I can say that is correct or not correct. The only thing is for you to have the chrome grammatically correct sentences. I'm going to give an example of the first one because I do not want to give all the examples because I want you guys to be a little bit more creative. All right. So if I had to complete the sentences about myself, I'd say I'd like to eat ice cream, for example, or I'd like to go to the park. All right. That's just um, an example of the type of sentence that I want and you can fill in number two and three. This does not have a specific answer, so you can be a little bit more creative. I've given you the first one and I've given you an example. All right, and that concludes it for unit 10D, and now we can move on to unit 10E.